Hello everybody, welcome. Just in time for our next pin video. Come on in, let's go. Welcome everybody, Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pen. Today we're going to talk about and show you how to polish a fountain pen. I've got some new polish that I just picked up and uh, I got it from the Luxury Partners uh, a seller off eBay and here's the box what it looks like it comes in a small box like this I'm just covering up the address and stuff all right so I'll open it up and here's the cloth and here's the bottle and the instruction sheet and here's what they look like he it's this is the two-step but he gave me the three-step because I had to wait a little longer. Uh, he had an unexpected death in his family. His mother passed away. So there's the three bottles and I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to use the step one, non-abrasive resin cleaner polish and the step two is the high gloss resin glaze polish. And the instruction says, thank you for investing in our German two-step non-abrasive pin polish for high-end pins. This is specially formulated acrylic resin polish that does not remove material from the items you are polishing. As you know, polish that re removes material will eventually degrade the item over time. Because of this, our polish will work only on very fine scratches by filling in them and with the preparatory acrylic mixture. At the same time, it creates a hard, resilient micro layer of protection when used properly. This layer not only help the pin stand up to damage, but it also nourish the precious resin, resin, excuse me, or celluloid, etc. And it keeps the getting riddled from exposure. Cool. Finally, it also adds protection from smudge and fingerprints. And of course, when you use the system properly, it will result in a phenomenal deep shine that makes the pen look like a black mirror. I can't wait to see that. Remember, little goes a long way. You do not need to even really see the polish on the pen. Uh, you are looking for a very light haze on the pin after applying the polish. So what do you say? Let's get to it. Here is the cloth that it came with. And here is my Mont Blanc 149 vintage 1990 fountain pen. Let me take off the cap and we'll start. with uh, step one and uh, you put on a drop of the non-abrasive resin cleaner and polish on a soft cloth and it came with this preferably a, a micro fiber so here's that and you know apply the polish to your pen using a firm but gentle pressure when applying to the gold trim do not be aggressive. You're looking just to apply a thin coat. Wait about a minute and buff off the polish. Apply a second layer if necessary to fill in the scratches a bit more. So let's go ahead and do number one first. We'll get this done first. There's a drop, maybe it's a little too much, but that's all right. And we're going to let that off for a while. About a minute. Okay, it's been about a minute, so we're going to take the 
polish off and if it needs to be done again I will do that okay let's see what it looks like wow look at that wow now that is nice I hope you can see this that is really nice so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to go ahead and do the barrel next. Let me put this here so it won't roll away. I'm impressed. Get it on the grip, not on the nib. I'm going to set that aside for a minute. Okay. All right, so it's been about a minute. Let me go ahead and take it off. I was really impressed with the cap of the pen. It looks really sharp, really nice and polished. And here's that pretty nice luster polish. Looks really nice. Hope you can see that, do we? I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a big difference on my end. So let's see what's next. Step two. You're going to put a, a, a drop of the high gloss resin glaze on a clean soft cloth, the one I just used. Apply an extremely light coat, coat to the pen, <clears throat> excuse me, allowed to dry completely. It should look like watermarks on the pen. Buff it off. Okay, wait 15 minutes for the molecules to begin cross-linking. All right, so I'm going to put a drop of step two on the cloth extremely light coat to the pen allowed to dry completely then it should look sort of like watermarks on the pen then buff it off then wait 15 minutes for the molecules to begin cross-linking and then repeat step two to four as many times as you like. Repeat step two to four as many times as you like. From step one, two, three, and four. Okay. Well, all right. Here we go. Well, you know what? I better take off the cap. I'll do the cap first. Okay, there we go. And I don't want to get any on the trim. Here. 
Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, I see here like little watermarks there. So. Okay, so I'm going to buff that off. Alright, then I'm going to wait 15 minutes for the molecules to begin cross-linking. Be right back. Okay, now, for the final touch, I'll go ahead and buff it off. I've been through all the steps. There's a nice shine. I'm seeing a really nice mirror shine here. I don't know if you guys can see it on that other side of the camera, but if you're on my side, you'd be able to see it real well. The final result. And then, here's my other Mont Blanc, my brand new one. We'll compare them side by side. Now, you be the judge. This is the vintage I just did. And this is the new Mont Blanc I just got a few weeks ago. Can you tell that nice shine this vintage has? I haven't done anything to this pen, just on this one here. Well, that's going to do it for the polishing of the pen. And uh, I'll leave the website where you can pick this up. If you're interested, uh, also there's a on the third bottle step zero instructions, uh, and you can read that if you decide to go into it. But remember, a little goes a long way, and I may have put a maybe more than a drop, but oh well. Uh, I like the way the the pen came out. Isn't that beautiful? I can tell. It's just a nice shine on it. Really nice. And that's how I like my pins to shine. Well, all right. Thank you a lot, everybody. I hope you found this uh, polishing uh, helpful. Maybe you might want to try it. And again... It's called the Two-Step Pin Polish, and you can find that on eBay. And uh, the uh, seller, again, is Luxury Partners. So, that's going to conclude this video on polishing a Mont Blanc 149-1990 vintage right here. Thanks for watching. Put your comments below. Tell me your thoughts. I think you can also buy just one bottle if you want. It comes in one, two, or three step. All right, that's it. So thanks for having me in your home. Uh, and again, as always, don't text and don't drive. Remember, peace. I'm out of here.